What do you make of Nerlens Noel's lawsuit against Rich Paul? All right, so you may remember at one point, Nerlens Noel was playing for the Philadelphia 76ers, and it looked like they weren't going to keep him, and so he gets traded to Dallas. Dallas offered Noel a four-year, $70 million extension, which he did not take. On the advice of his agent, Rich Paul, he decided to do something that very few people do. He played out the year on the qualifying offer so he could be an unrestricted free agent, expecting all this money to come in, and the money ain't come in yet. It has been minimum contract after minimum contract. Well, now, this offseason, Noel signed a three-year, 27 and change million dollar extension. First time he's gotten anything close to real money. But he had a one-year deal last year with the Knicks, and he has not paid commission on that to Rich Paul. And we find out why. Because he mad. He feels as though in this course of the time between 2017 and 2020, that he missed out on $58 million in earnings because of advice that Rich Paul gave him. Now, look, I don't know enough about being a player or being an agent or any of these things to understand whether or not this is something that you can actually sue for. However, it does look bad for Rich Paul that it got to this point. And the big question you always have to ask yourself when you have an agent is, how important am I to him because he can't treat everybody the same the care and deep to detail that he gives lebron james he's not going to be able to give to a dude like nerlens noel i just feel bad for him because literally nothing in his career has gone the way that it was supposed to and he's actually a pretty good player i've never seen an episode of ballers but this feels <laughs> like something that would come out of an episode of ballers because nerlens noel met uh, rich paul at a party and he had already had an agent an agent named Happy, by the way, <laughs> a man named Happy Walters. And so he had that $70 million offer from the Mavericks and turned it down and bet on himself and fi fired a man named Happy. Okay, fired Happy Walters and then uh, after a thumb injury, lost the bet on himself. And anybody on the outside looking in would say, okay, he probably didn't have the foresight to take those $70 million to, you know, look at the league and where it was and say, hey, maybe it's not the place for big men. All it takes is one injury and, you know, me betting on myself is a bad bet. But when you hear the quotes that Rich Paul or his agency was not taking calls from other teams and was literally leaving money out there on the table, he mentioned a couple of other players, Norris Cole and Shabazz Muhammad, as sort of lower level players who weren't really getting the attention of their agency. Uh, so I don't know, like you say, Bo, I don't know if you can sue over this, but it does seem like a bad reputation for Rich Paul to get, you know, to, to start growing, that he doesn't really pay attention to the smaller players and leaves them with money out there and only pays attention to the big name players. That's not a reputation he wants. Oh, no. Oh, so so that's revelatory, Izzy, that, like, someone would focus on the guy that helps net him, like, $100 million a year instead of the one that helps net him $200,000 a year? Come on, you guys. You can't sue for this. This is insane. Like, listen, I feel bad for Nerlens, and, yeah, it was probably terrible, terrible advice. They are called advisors, not enforcers. They do not force you to do anything. They advise you, and you then, as a grown-up, makes a decision. You took a gamble on yourself and it did not work. Go talk to Dennis Schroeder. You can't set this kind of precedent. What, so Dennis Schroeder is going to sue his agent if it doesn't work in Boston and he doesn't end up getting any money after he turned down that lucrative comp. He's not the first person to get bad information. You let someone court you at a birthday party. That was your first problem. You guys are in this industry. Whenever people start popping up and doing a little bit more, Bo, you're all over HBO now. I'm sure the agents are circling the wagon. That's how it works. It's up to you to decide what's the best situation for you i mean what's next like, you're gonna have a bunch of mad bitter women suing steve harvey because they read think like a man and they're still single <laughs> of course you shouldn't yeah. make a way to certain <laughs> amount of days like you're gonna sue tony robbins because you didn't actually live your best potential <laughs> life like this is stupid come on All right, you, can't sue. Uh, yeah. you cannot hold on, sue for hold these on, kinds hold on, of no. things you got hold bad on. advice and you listen hold on the bad advice part i'm with you all the way on that but this you ain't been calling people back that wanted to give me money i, I don't know if you can sue for that but if i'm an agent I actually might prefer if they can sue for that because if they can't sue for that, that's when they show up with things to your <laughs> office. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.